Right, it's time to uh, assemble the uh, rocker boxes. So, uh, first of all, rocker boxes, they're different and uh, they are marked as such. So, this one is marked I for inlet. And this one, which I made earlier, <laughs> is marked F, uh, F, E for uh, exhaust. Yeah, uh, which is rather handy. Uh, yeah, and I've assembled, uh, I've already assembled that one. And hopefully shortly, this one will look like uh, this. Right, so uh, we've got the rocker shaft here, which I've put around the wrong way. Uh, there we go, that's the rocker shaft. And it has a small o-ring seal in the end. We'll put that in in a minute. There's a groove here, and that uh, that seal goes in there. And then, as we slide the shaft in, we're going to put these actual rockers in. Now, the rockers are uh, they they're not. You can't really confuse them. For a start, uh, this one obviously has the adjuster on the right, so. It's different than the other two, so on the uh, I'm just dealing with the um, inlet here because everything's sort of mirror image on the exhaust, so it's a bit confusing. So this is for the for the inlet rocker. Um, <clears throat> so that goes on the right. It can only go on the right because it, it literally won't fit anywhere else. Then you've got these two. Now these two are similar, so they think well you might be able to mix them up, which you could do. Um, but one is uh, much lo slightly longer than the than the other. Do we see that? Uh, you get that? Yeah. Okay. So the longer one uh, goes on the left. Again, if you try and put it in the middle, it won't really fit. So yeah, yeah it has to go uh, has to go there. Um, right. Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, then. You've got these washers, so you've got a mixture of Thackeray washers. That's these uh, spring washers, a Thackeray washer, like a little uh, uh, spiral washer, and plain washers. So uh, the way I fit them together is this: I always try and have a plain washer next to the rocker, and then the Thackeray washers against the uh, casing. So that means that the rocker has two plain washers to rotate against. It doesn't really matter because uh, if I had a Thackeray washer on the inside, then the Thackeray washer would probably just rotate with the uh, with the rocker. Uh, and, and so it's much the same as it is. I'll put it that way around. The Thackeray washer will stay still and rotate uh, and that will rotate. It doesn't really matter, but that's, that's uh, the way I do things. So, Thackeray washer, then plain either side, and then on the left, on, on where the, the, the two that, uh, sorry, get this right, these two, oh, um, I've started to talk down, I've started to talk without engaging my brain, right, yeah, so these two that sit together, they have the Thackeray washers on the outside, it pushes them inwards. Okay, they both come in. So if we look at uh, sorry, if we look at uh, this rocker, these are the two. Okay, they're together. They they go onto the push rods there. Okay, and these two, they're pushed towards each other by having the Thackeray washer on the outside, pushing them together. I've probably overcomplicated that. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this little O-ring on the uh, on the shaft, and these O-rings are actually uh, very difficult to fit to the actual casing without damaging them. But we'll we'll come on to that later on. I've then generously lubed the insides of the uh, rockers, and I've also lubed. And I'm going to lube again the shaft. I'm only really, I'm lubing the shaft just to help it go in, really. Okay. Right, and then we've got to try and introduce the shaft and put the rockers in at the same time, which is like where you need three or four hands. 
I'm, so I'm probably not going to do it all on camera because I'll be here for about four hours when I'm not, you know. Now you have to be careful because the Thackeray washer can wrap itself around the plain washer and gets in a right mess. Right, so I've kind of stuffed it in roughly, so it's roughly in line. So, and it's being held in place by the fact that that Thackeray washer's washer is a bit springy and then going to push back against the spring and insert the plain washer on the other end so that's sort of roughly in line and we're then going to put my screwdriver down the end you probably can't see this but then I'm going to use that to try and line everything up as best as I can And then start putting the shaft down and if it's near enough there we go so it's in the first bit oh it's gone has it gone right through no not quite so it's gone there we go and so look that's gone that shaft has gone all the way through so that first one is now located hurrah okay so i'll have to pull the shaft back out a bit now and then repeat with the second one there we're we're kind of in uh, that went a lot better than the first one because i sort of honed my technique a bit about how, how to put them in uh as i said the main thing with the thackeray washers is these these two that, that run together make sure the thackeray washers are on either side and push them together which means that the uh the lobes that go on the uh on the top of the push rods in the right place if you had the thackeray washers washers the other end these lobes would be in the wrong place they'd be actually scraping against the sides here as opposed to being pushed in yeah uh, that's uh, that's all nice now <clears throat> the, the shaft is fully home and uh, what I've got to do now is um, put the shaft fully home but this o-ring that we replaced at the beginning that's an oil seal um, and when you when you uh, knock this home, what tends to happen is it it takes the head, it scalps the O-ring, the the actual edge of the of the rocker box. So uh, there's a special tool which I put out and it's now vanished. I'll have to find it and I'll come back in a minute. Right, I found the little beggar now. It's this tool here. And what this does is fits over the shaft and uh, squeezes in that oil seal or o-ring so that when there yeah, so that when we knock that in it compresses the it compresses the o-ring and hopefully it will go in without uh, scalping the top of off the oil seal I, Got some blocks of woods because, of course, this shaft will come out the end here and sit proud. Coming through, but no cigar yet. Nearly. Oops, I <laughs> dropped this tool. But there we are. Yeah, we're in. And I don't think we've got any sign of a scalped uh, oil seal. So that's good. That's actually worked. Is it? So I'm just seeing if there is any bit of oil seal there, but I don't think there is. So, uh, there we go. Uh, rocker all done. Just one other thing while we're on the rocker boxes. The um, natural tapper adjusters. These are non-standard. Um, when they've got um, a single groove cut in for a flat-bladed screwdriver. 
Uh, normally it's those strange square little things which I really don't like. Um, but the, they do look in actually, uh, you know, they, all, all the heads and that look in good condition. So I don't, I was thinking that they would be the originals and I'd have to change them, but they're not the originals. They look in good condition, so <clears throat> I shall I shall keep them in. But um, the, the only thing being that I think they might be a bit awkward to adjust. I'm surprised that there isn't like a, a cross cut in them so that you can put a screwdriver in lots of different positions. But I think, uh, you know, they'll still be okay to adjust. The ones I use now, I use mushroom head, I think. I think they're called mushroom head adjusters. The main advantage of those is that they've got an Allen key uh, way in uh, an Allen key head so you can adjust them with an Allen key which is so much easier than those horrible square things. Now as luck would have it because um, actually I'll get this out now that I've, I haven't got those horrible original adjusters um, Richard Davis again has given me uh, a special tool uh, which I've never seen before and that is to adjust those uh, tappet adjusters but just typically, the, the you know, you get, I get given one just when I haven't got them anymore. I've changed them on my bikes, and this one has uh, has slotted head adjusters. But there you go. Um, yeah, I tend to use mushroom head. But there's lots of different um, styles of, of um, adjusters, and some people use what's called lash caps that go over the top of the valve stem to protect the valve stem. There's elephant foot adjusters as well. I'm not that well up on them. Um, but um, you know, you use what 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 you what you think are best. I think the only thing to realise is there's long adjusters and short adjusters. I get a, a bit lost with it, but as far as I remember, I think the long adjusters are for early bikes, and I think the T160 uses these short adjusters. But do do check on that. I, I always get a bit mixed up with them. Okay, but with, with these, they've been changed at some point in the past. They look in good condition, so we will be uh, reusing the uh, existing tapper adjusters.